higher education. What do we mean when we use that expression? The October 1, 2005 issue of the Watchtower that I referred to earlier provided a definition. It used the example of the educational system in the United States, acknowledging that it involves 12 years of basic education in public schools. Then it stated, thereafter, students may choose to attend university for four or more years, leading to a bachelor's degree or two, postgraduate studies for careers in medicine, law, engineering, and so forth. Such university education is what is meant when the term higher education is used. It further stated, on the other hand, there are technical and vocational schools offering short-term courses that result in a certificate or diploma in some trade or service. Skills that will be useful to God's organization now and after Armageddon. For example, we need construction skills around the world right now. Higher education often instills a sense of superiority and self-reliance that is in direct opposition to the Christian personality. If we are in continued association with those who do not believe the same, it can erode our thinking and convictions. Exposing ourselves to this kind of misinformation can create doubt, doubts and undermine our complete trust in the governing body. In Romans 12, 2, Paul said to stop being molded by this system of things, but be transformed by making your mind over. The verse said to make over your minds, not hand over your mind. We realize educational systems vary from place to place. In some countries, higher education is provided by the government, free of charge. However, the cost of obtaining university training is not our primary concern. It is the potential for spiritual harm that has moved us to provide the cautions we have shared in the past. I have long said, the better the university, the greater the danger. The most intelligent and eloquent professors will be trying to reshape the thinking of your child, and their influence can be tremendous. Do your personal decisions matter? Yes. Look at verse 12. So then, each of us will render an account for himself to God. Yes? We all will have to answer to Jehovah for the decisions we make today. May we all decide to play it safe before our God. Stick with what we have authorized. You'll be safe. There is a difference, a big difference, between education and propaganda. Education shows you how to think. Propaganda tells you what to think. Good educators present all sides of an issue and encourage discussion. Propagandists relentlessly force you to hear their view and discourage discussion. Often their real motives are not apparent. They sift the facts, exploiting the useful ones and concealing the others. They also distort and twist facts, specializing in lies and half-truths. Your emotions, not your logical thinking abilities, are their target. The propagandist makes sure that his message appears to be the right and moral one, and that it gives you a sense of importance and belonging if you follow it. You are one of the smart ones. You are not alone. You are comfortable and secure, so they say.